Today, we're going over Sideshow's Wonder Woman bust. All right, guys, I'm so excited. This thing just came in the mail. I love the art box that came with it. Um, definitely almost going for almost a movie vibe here. Um, she is one third scale and she looks amazing. So we're gonna do a full review today. We're gonna go over her sculpt, her paint, the detail, proportions, pose, price, colors, coolness, everything. We're gonna touch it all. So let's get into it. Let's see, while she's spinning around, I'm getting a good look at the sculpt. And guys, it's uh, we're looking at a 10 out of 10. This sculpt is great. Every single aspect of this is perfect. She's anatomically correct. Um, she's absolutely beautiful. But I think my favorite piece with the sculpt is the hair. I really love the hair. And I think it's a little bit of an upgrade from the hair, which is pretty much the only issue I have with their premium format that I got going right next to it. I'm really happy about it. Um, I'm really happy about the sculpt with her back. Interesting, interesting thing there. They really made her muscles pop. The rope looks great. It's all sculpted well. There's no mixed media. She's sitting on a pillar. Looks like a pillar maybe from Themyscira. So that matches with the concept. There's nothing I would change. Okay, paint. Uh, the beautiful thing about Sideshow doing a one-third scale is that it's a nice big canvas. There's nowhere to make a mistake. And they didn't. Everything is perfectly in between the lines. The paint they did on the breastplate is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think it's a huge win. The rope looks very nice. They could have cheated there, but they didn't. They individually went over each ring on the rope. It absolutely looks great and the paint on the head sculpt looks really nice guys they definitely took their time and really made it look like skin it's not matte it's not too shiny it's just right it, it actually really looks like skin they did a good job here I'm excited for this line all right now we're gonna go into design a little bit similar to sculpt and paint but a little bit different here's where I dive into what really works for it. So the, the, the details of this are fantastic. In the pillars, they went and they did all the little cracks in the bottom here, which you can see. The Again, I said on the rope, they went really hard on making sure each ring was pronounced. They made sure her hair is flowing beautifully. The only thing I would maybe say is I kind of want the, um, the side that she's facing, I wish the hair was actually touching her shoulders. But um, perhaps she's flown in the breeze, so can't dock it for any points there. We're going another 10 out of 10. All right, so normally when I do review, I review the base. So considering how this pretty much is a base in, it, in and of itself, we're just going to touch on the pillar alone. I'm really happy about it. There's not much more I can say, so we're pretty much just going to give this a 10 out of 10. I like the colors they chose with it, the details they put into it. Um, I do like the... A uh, little emblem going into it. I, I think it looks great. It's really realistic concrete and stone. 10 out of 10. All right, so now we're going into pose. Pose is actually pretty important when you're talking about a bust because you don't have an entire second half of you, so your pose has to be pretty good and striking. And I think it is really great. I love how strong she looks here. And I think the pose captures her power really well i'm really pleased with the pose on this one really really glad another 10 out of 10. all right now we're going to go over the colors there's always two ways you can go with wonder woman you can kind of make her the super american flag with the big bright reds and then you can kind of go more of a movie version where you get those like darker reds uh, it's worth noting they definitely are going for a theme here it does match the one fourth scale premium format that i have right here so the colors are a match there, uh, and they just basically made a bigger version here, and they got to expand on some details as we touched on earlier because of that. So it's the same color scheme. Uh, we're not getting any of the blues because it's not going over her bottom half, but that's okay. 
We got the nice maroon. The silver is beautiful on her wrists here. Like I said, the color in the stone, they didn't just make a gray. I'm seeing blues here, blacks, light blues. They did a nice job there. Same thing with the hair. They went nice black hair. It's that deep wine black hair that you associate with Wonder Woman. Super good. Uh, the lips, they did a nice realistic skin color there. And that brings me to the skin color. They nailed that as well. Now we're going to go into coolness and likability. Is it Wonder Woman? Yes, it is. Is it cool? Yes, it is. I think they did a really great job. It's so definitely Wonder Woman. Like if you were to take away her rope and even like her chest plate and everything, even just the pose alone, I can tell that it's Wonder Woman. Like, I don't know. It, it's just so, they nailed her and her expression is so stern and focused. It's just, it's really cool. Now, it, it's not a full statue. I don't know if I can give it the full 10 out of 10. There's no crazy base. There's nothing going on that's too wild about it. But I am going to give it a nice 9 out of 10 for coolness, 10 out of 10 for likability. Last but not least, we're going to go over the price. So the price point for this was 250 I think shipping for me was like 25 maybe 30 um, the shipping I was really happy with, especially with everything going on with the pandemic, shipping prices are terrible right now. So it's really nice to still get a good shipping deal. Thank you, Sideshow. I don't know anyone else who's doing that. For something like this, I feel like a fair price was maybe 200 So it is $250. Um, but I would have, and I did, uh, spend 250 bucks on this because it's really great and it does go well with the premium format Which I think is a total masterpiece. So I'm really happy with it. I would absolutely pay 250 and keep in mind this is a part of a line with a beautiful looking Superman and an awesome looking Batman upcoming. So Yeah, I'm gonna be getting both So guys, I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't even gonna buy this uh, and then I saw the Superman bust that came out, and I thought it looked even better, and I was like, okay, maybe I'm going to get into busts. And then the Batman bust came out. <sighs> and it was perfect. Daniel Bell, like, just, it was everything I possibly wanted, so now I have to buy them. And I ended up getting all three. I'm pre-ordering the Superman and the Batman right now. Really happy. This one was the first one to come in. I do have to figure a spot of where I'm going to put her and Superman and Batman because I'm running out of space. But let's do a final tally here, guys. This only got docked for one point, so 99 out of 100. This statue is essentially perfect. If you want to get into the busts, I highly recommend it, especially if you saw that Batman one that's coming up. This is going to go really well with that. I was on the fence about the busts, but I'm not anymore. Thanks so much, Sideshow, and thanks everyone else for tuning in. This has been Min Hunter Comics, and keep on collecting. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today, and if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen, and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them, and also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.